A senior finance officer at the body which oversees Police Scotland claims she's been frozen out after highlighting the potential misuse of public funds. Amy MacDonald, who still works for the Scottish Police Authority, had questioned payments totalling several hundred thousand pounds, but says her concerns were never acted upon. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Reva Alderson, reports. Helping um, consolidate the accounting functions within Police Scotland. And Amy MacDonald, Director of Financial Accountability at the SPA. She claims her concerns over extraordinary payments were ignored, so she went to audit Scotland, the body overseeing public spending. Blowing the whistle in that fashion has led Amy MacDonald to take a case to the Employment Tribunal over the way she's been treated by the SPA. The Employment Tribunal, which sits in the building behind me, We'll hear how Amy MacDonald highlighted to her bosses a series of payments totalling hundreds of thousands of pounds made to senior figures within the police service which she believed had been improperly made. She'll tell the tribunal that when she blew the whistle, she was then frozen out by her SPA bosses. Yes. Amy MacDonald's lawyer says she hopes the tribunal will rule she's been unfairly treated, but there's a wider reason for bringing the case. What it is hoped is that it makes things easier for other whistleblowers and that they, unlike my client, don't need to ventilate their concerns in an employment tribunal. Allied to that, there is a culture where workers are actually encouraged rather than discouraged uh, from reporting wrongdoing, particularly when we're talking about public funds. Deputy Chief Constable Rose Fitzpatrick the only person who received disputed money whom BBC Scotland can name. She received £67,000 in relocation expenses and also had £53,000 in tax paid for her by the SPA. There's no suggestion she did anything wrong. Audit Scotland criticised the SPA for its unacceptable use of taxpayers' money, saying it didn't represent a good use of public funds. Five other former senior SPA and police figures also received money, which Amy MacDonald queried. BBC Scotland is unable to name these individuals or the sums of money they received because of an anonymity order granted by the tribunal. MSPs have already criticised the SPA's lack of transparency in its financial management. The chair of the Public Audit Committee says it'll continue to investigate despite recent changes at the top of the authority. We want to make sure that we get some answers on what has happened before. We'll be inviting the whistleblower in to give evidence in public to the Audit Committee as soon as this tribunal is finished. The SPA is contesting the case and says it'll be publishing an independent audit report about the payments. Reval Alderson reporting Scotland, Glasgow.